Hello everyone, I am Veos and welcome back to another video and this scared the ever-living shit out of me. So I loaded up the Duna colony and suddenly all the vehicles were crushed into one corner. I'm not entirely sure what happened. I'm just thankful that they didn't like render within each other and explode and then that would have been it because every time I loaded up they would have been rendered into each other. I'm... I... I don't know. I really, 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 really don't know. So we're just gonna, <laughs> we're just gonna move all these away. There we go. Thank you for not exploding. Oh, how am I supposed to get this guy out of here? Oh, he's so close. He's so close. Easy does it. Don't touch the thing. <laughs> Woo. Woo. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, <clears throat> there we go. There we go. Ha, ha, ha. Okay, uh, I think we're, we'll uh, park these guys out a little farther away from the colony if it's going to do that on me. Okay, so I made a new part, and this part is actually for garbage disposal. Because, you know, in a growing colony, there's a lot of garbage. Gotta have somewhere to put it. And there it is. Very basic. And linking up to it. Oh, almost. And a knock. Okay, and before we leave, we want to go ahead and remove that. Octagonal strut real quick. Not that it will make a difference, but it'll make things a little more less crackeny. Okay, apparently I, I can't get to it, so that sucks. Shh, what in the world? Oh, okay, never mind. Ha ha ha. This poor guy doesn't know what to do. Stop spinning. No. What are you doing? No, get out. Stop. Dude. He's like, I was supposed to fix something and now it's not here. <laughs> no. Have I lost you? Have I lost you to Duna Madness? Oh no. Oh no, I've lost him to Duna Madness. Okay, we're, we're gonna have to do a quick intervention. Intervention, drop. Okay, there we go. Yes, I cheated a little bit, but I like to think of it like the other Kerbal came out and smacked him across the helmet. Oh no, now I can't. Oh shit, I can't even control him anymore. Seriously? I think I found a bug. Oh, there we go. Are you cool, bro? Are you cool? <laughs> Are you cool, man? Are you cool? <laughs> I, I don't even know what you would call it. Not Duna Dementia. More like he's given up all hope. His family, his world. It's all gone. What are we even doing here? We're not gonna make it. Someone needs a pep talk. Do you see this this blinking out and everything? This graphical, horrible glitchingness? Oh, my poor computer. That's the graphics card dying. It's only like two or three years old, but it's already dying. Undock. Put that in storage. Alright, so now we're going to put all the garbage on this, and then we're going to set the probe to debris. Now I should get rid of it. Now yes, I could go and I could delete it manually, but if I can set it to debris and just let it disappear by itself, that kind of eliminates the need to do that, so it makes things a little easier. Okay, we're going to try to rebuild the rover mover, or the moving rover, so that we can start building some colony parts here, and hopefully it doesn't explode. Finalize build. Okay, we're good. What? 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 What's going on? I don't know what's going on. <laughs> okay, for now we'll just re we'll just retract those. We just retract them. So remember to never release until you undock. Oh, we're running out of battery power pretty quick. Should have put some gas power on this. This would this would have made it a lot more efficient. I'll stretch this out see if we can get any power. See, typically you typically don't want to put your uh, solar panels in this kind of configuration when you're on a planet, especially like Duna that's far away from the sun. You want as much sunlight as physically possible. And while yes, you're getting sunlight right now, wait till the sun goes all the way up and then points straight down on your ass and then you're not going to get any power whatsoever. What you typically want to do is you want to have them elongated out horizontally so that the entire face of the solar panel can face the sun while it goes around the planet up and over. This can follow it and it'll always be in 100% contact with the sun as it follows it all the way across to the other side. Oh no! It's doing it again! Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! Come on! Ah, oh, come on. Please. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Come on. I know it, cat. I hear you. See, the cat's sad too. Unbelievable. Hey! 
Hey, I found it. Okay, whoa. Oh, we were saved. Oh, we were saved. You know what? And if I remember correctly, the the person who was building this mod said something to the fact that it might have been popping out outside of the screen, which really sucks. I wish there was a way to reset it, reset its position, have it like a position reset, you know? But I am so glad. I am so glad that he's right and it wasn't some horrible thing. Oh, we got saved, people. We got saved. Ooh, we got saved. Okay, first things first, command and control. That's a big bitch. All right, took about a day and a half, but she's ready. F5 save and finalize. Nothing exploding, we're good. Okay, there she is, the first real module. The first real colony module. Let's, let's go ahead and pick her up, if this thing even works. I think it's number one key. What's with the gears? Oh, I hope that doesn't do that when we're underneath. A little too close to the mining stuff. Let's back it up just a pinch. Gears and number one. Okay, good. And backing up. Very good. Okay, very good, very good. Nice. Very nice. So after driving around a little bit, I realized that that flat bit that I found is actually pretty frickin' small. All right, here comes the fun part. F5 save. Hmm, will it destroy the colony in three, two, one? <sighs> well, that's extremely dangerous. Woof. We're gonna have to design a new type of, um, lifter because that is dangerous as all hell all right let's build some more rocket parts and construct the final building for today's episode okay so we're going to build a new mover that i went back into the space plane hangar and redesigned uh, I, I could if i wanted to try to update this one outside but for lack of time this is just a lot quicker so we're gonna have to yes we're gonna have to junk this one and go for the Mark II mover, which I hope will do the job a lot better. So here we go, and finalize. Please don't explode. Uh-huh, okay, we're good. All right, the new and improved solar power array. Let's do this. Oh, wow, hey, you're pretty big. Ha-ha, <laughs> hmm, in three, two, one. Uh, we're good. Okay, we're good. Cool. Uh -huh. Right. Okay, so I can't move. It's <sighs> just great. Help, little help. All right, let me lift this up a little bit. See, I would just go back into space plane here, redesign it, and pop it back out, but. We kind of got something in the way. Oh shit, those are too heavy. Can we get another engineer out here? Yep, sorry, no special pickup. You're just gonna have to walk over there. Hello? Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. What? What the hell? Eh? Oh, I, I know robotic parts are super buggy, but you gotta be kidding me. They are. It bugged out. Wait, what? Not fixed itself? <coughs> no, it unfixed itself. Uh, okay. Okay, now it fixed itself. Okay, I'm gonna take it and rotate it. Oh, there it goes. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Oh gosh. What? 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 <sighs> Wow, okay. Oh, it's screwed. Okay, that works. And bringing it back up. But does it work for the gears? So hit the gears and do we bounce? Nope, we're good. Okay, good. Awesome. Now can we move when it's all the way down? And yes, I can. I am I am mobile again. Okay, good job, Kerbals. It's too bad we can't save that right side right there, but at least we're mobile again. Good job, team. Good job. Oh, no. Now it's too big. That's what she said. All right. Okay. Okay. Here we go. 
Lifting up. Easy does it. I don't believe this. Oh, this sucks. Balls. I mean, in hindsight, that means that... That means that even if we had robotic parts to put onto the old lifter, it would have given us problems. Almost there. Okay. Back it up a little bit. Okay. Okay. And number two. And with the gears now. <gasps> no, no, no. Bad gears. Bad gears. Oh, you evil, evil gears. Ah. Oh, just wow. Okay, Mr. Mover. Do your thing. With pleasure. I don't know what happened, but one of these wheels bugged, and it bugged hard, and, and it popped the entire back end up and over. I didn't save close enough to the point where I have to go through all of this again. Oh my gosh, dude. Well, I'm sorry, Mr. Rover. We're just going to have to label you as junk now. <laughs> just, it's, it's, just, it's just how it is. All right. The third generation pusher. I hope this works. Last time it destroyed the entire colony. But I went back and I changed a few things. So hopefully it's not buggy anymore. I forgot to, I forgot to save like an idiot. But we're okay. Oh. Uh. Oh. The, the, um. The sort. The, uh, the, the power is gone. Shit. You know what? Screw it. If we're going to renew our vehicles, we might as well get rid of this hunk of junk. Okay, lifting up. That's kind of an eyesore. Uh, we'll fix it in the next update because I don't want to mess with it with the Kerbals. Alright, brought it up. Kinda, maybe, it work. Up, oh, and we got, oh my gosh. Contact. <laughs> Contact. Oh dear. Am I stuck? Okay. I seem to be stuck. Help me, mover. Help me. You're my only help. Yep. Just pull it right out. I just hear the scraping going on. <laughs> They're losing some paint. Oh, we're dragging the whole thing forward too. Uh, I can't. I can't be sure, but I'm. I'm almost positive that in the future, the mover and the lifter are going to become one vehicle eventually. Like I'll design a mover lifter hybrid. All right, let's do this. We got to get a Kerbal in there though. There she goes. She's gonna be the first one to go inside of the new module, the brand new super spacious command module, which has its own room. I mean, it's kind of like a little a habitat as well, but it's mostly command and control. Brand spanking new. All right, she's in control. Let's see here. We don't have any power. No power, huh? Okay. Ah, I know what to do. All right, we're going to connect the claw to the very front of the truck. We're going to come up to the command and control platform and jump start it. I tell you, this work truck, it's been a lifesaver in a lot of situations. It's like the Swiss Army knife of colony com colony stuff all right here we go let's jump start this bad boy nice and easy we're in we have power unlocking hinges Well, even though this looks beautiful and it and it unfolded very well, except for him, and it unfolded very well and it's very beautiful. Everything's great. Guess what? We put the frickin' thing on backwards. So here's how this works: the sun travels up 
and over and then comes across the sky and then ends in over here somewhere. So while these do a good job of following that sunlight all the way across, having these suckers turned this way means that they won't follow the light across very well. Kind of like this. As the sun goes over, all they can kind of do is hope for the best because they can't follow the sun going across the landscape. This whole platform, this whole thing, would need to be turned around so that it's lined up this way. Yeah. So by the time, so we're, we're, we'll get plenty of power during the noon, but in the evening and the morning, we're going to get crap for power. Oh boy. That's all I got for today. This was about four hours worth of recording, so that's why I wasn't able to get a video out yesterday. If you like what you saw, consider liking the video. And if you really, really like what you see, consider subscribing. I upload a video almost every day uh, in the mornings for KSP. And in the evenings, if I have time, I play other games. So look forward to that. All right, everyone. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for watching. And thank you so much for your support. Love you all. Take care. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now. Bye-bye.